discuss this because I think that was a thing that was dis was said. Oh, how much did they pay Natalie Nunn to say she had the coronavirus? I'm not here also to make you believe whether or not the coronavirus is real or not. I'm also not here to tell you what to do with your life. Wear a mask. I'm not here to tell you that. You see how those things are not coming out of my mouth? I'm also not here to tell you what to do with your life. Stay inside. Don't go out. I get it. People have to work. People have to make money. I understand because I went to the post office every single day to drop off all of my hundreds of orders every day. If you were a real follower and a real fan of Natalie Nunn, you would know that. That I have my mask off and I'm rolling the cart in every day showing you guys your orders are going out. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not. I'm here to tell you that it's real. That's what I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you that it's real. And I'm here to tell you that there's no vaccine for this. And I'm also here to tell you I don't know how I got it. We will, we will never know how you got it. People will try to tell you, oh, you didn't wear your mask. I wear my Louis Vuitton mask, baby girl. Also, people will try to tell you, that's why you need to stay in the house. I got a lot of bills to pay, baby girl. I'm here to tell you that no matter what it is, no matter who you are, this virus does not discriminate against anybody. Healthy, um, uh, uh, old, young. It's like Russian roulette. You're either going to get it or you're not. But I think, I think, the rate that it's going with no vaccine out there, with no, they don't even have the proper medicine to give you once they know you have it. They gave me coding for a cough. It did nothing. It did nothing. The coding did nothing. So I'm here to just tell you that no matter what, if you catch the coronavirus or whatever you want to call it, because some of you guys don't even believe it's real. We'll call it the motherfucking bad bitch virus. It's coming to take all the bad bitches out. Whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it, it's real. <laughs> and it's not playing no games. And it doesn't discriminate. And when you get it, there's no way they don't have anything. There's nothing. They gave me, here's your coding cough medicine. I took that fucking coding cough medicine for two days when I first got home and I still coughed to the point where I thought I was going to die. It was like a battle zone. I was weak. I felt like I had an eight. I felt weak. I felt like there was nothing. I had to fight. I had to get up to go to the bathroom. I, I could barely get up. I was holding my chest. I was coughing to the point where I couldn't stop coughing. And it was a harsh cough. It was loud. It was hard. It was in my chest. I felt like it was coming from my like my heart. Like I I had I had to I had to get down and pray. I had to. And I, and I don't I don't I'll let y'all know. You guys know how I roll. I'm Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all my blessings. I, go up and down my post if you want to go up and down my Instagram page. Thank you, God, for all this, um, this work. Thank you, God, that I'm able to send, send out all of these posters and fitness challenges to get these people in shape and healthy. Thank you for your blessings. I was on the ground praying every day for my life. This virus came to kill I don't know why some people get a runny nose. I don't know why some people get a cough or a, or a severe cough. I don't understand why some people in your household get it, but others don't. Journey had absolutely no symptoms. Journey did not even remotely cough one time. She never even had a runny nose. Nothing. But her mom and dad are over here COVID positive. Nobody... I don't have babysitters. We don't have nannies around here. We're hands-on parents. How? Thank God, though, Journey didn't get it. But there's so many. But other kids have got it. Other kids have died from this. People are dying. People are dying. This is real. N mind you, the pot of herbs and the things that I did were very slim. 
I only took the coating for two days. That bottle is still sitting up there on the side of my dresser, f damn near full. Because I took that medicine and I felt nothing. I said, that's not going to do it. I don't even like taking it. I like, I'm healthy. My body, we, we, we don't, we, we, if you follow me, we're on health over here. Health and fitness. Okay. Health and fitness. I said, that's, that's not going to do it. That coding ain't going to work. Cause a few times Jacob said, you're coughing really bad, baby. You're coughing really bad. Take the coding. That coding ain't going to do it. That's not what this is. That's not the right medicine for this. They don't have the right medicine for this. It was herbs. It was natural remedies and it was strength. It was my strength. It was my Natalie Nunn's strength from working out, from getting my chest open from when I'm live running. There was multiple days when I said, oh, and I would say, oh my God, that felt like when I, I ran like those three miles that day outside on the trail or the bike ride with Jacob and it would be a flashback to like that. It's like, oh my God, I got a breath in. Oh God, oh my God, I got a breath in. And sit there holding my chest for two weeks. We're not 100% still. I don't feel 100%. I'm telling you guys this because I'm live today to tell you guys right now the things that you would possibly need if you were, God forbid, to catch this coronavirus. People, people, people are out there. I'm not here to tell you to put your mask on. I'm not here to tell you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not here for that. I'm here to just tell you guys that you really, truly need to either, you need to be safe in whatever way you can. You need to be safe however you need to be safe. I don't know what that consists of for you because everybody has a different life, life that we live. Some people, some people, like, you know, like the doctors, I, I didn't understand it when they weren't coming in the room. They're talking to me through the glass. I'm like, because they needed to stay safe. Thank you to the doctors on the front line that are even coming in to give you the IV, knowing that this thing is a, a virus that is spreading like wildfires. They still are out there working and, and, and trying to stay safe themselves, but also help us, if that makes sense. Cause I'm sitting there like, if you don't open up that fucking glass door and come in here and help me, I'm dying. Nobody's coming. Nobody's supposed to come, okay? I fought in that room damn near by myself without my husband for two, with, with my husband for two weeks. Nobody came. You know the first thing when you're on your deathbed? Because I literally know I saw what, I, I, I faced death for a week. I saw it in the mirror in the bathroom. I saw it in the herbs in the pot, looking over that fucking pot. I saw it. I said, the first thing people say is, where's my mom? Where's my dad? Where's my loved ones? Where's my family? Coronavirus? People are being took out from this? Baby girl, this is faith now. Now, you, now is you, is you in that room by yourself. Basically, nobody's coming. My mother, my family, everybody, you know, um... Thank you for leaving things at the front door. I, at this point, you know, I, I, I don't expect anybody to have came in and saved me and held my hand because I wouldn't want anybody else to get it. I was terrified for even Jacob coming in to bring me my tea and whatever he could do for me. But at the end of the day, nobody's coming to save you. The doctors can't fucking save you. Nobody can save you.